clamps. Clamps. Nerd alert. Nerd alert. Hello everyone and welcome to DSLR Nerd. I'm the most nerdiest host. My name is Damien. Welcome. Um, tonight I'm just going to go over a couple of uh, clamps. Some you've seen before and some, uh, one of them is actually new. So um, I thought I would kind of break them all out again and um, talk about them. These are uh, umbrella stand clamps for uh, photography and videography. Um, I've got four here. The first two you've already um, seen before. Uh, I'm going to talk about them again real quick. This is the Manfrotto 026 Swivel Light Tight Umbrella Adapter. built. Um, it's got a uh, clamp here that you loosen to angle this the way you want. Um, this sits on your top of your um, light uh, stand. Uh, you can pull this out and turn it if it's in your way. It's got a big honking clamp here on the side to loosen uh, your nut up here uh, which currently has a quarter inch on one end and a three quarter inch on the other. And a nice little um, light stand clamp here on the side. This is pretty well built, uh, about $34 on Amazon. Now I am a Prime member, so your um, prices may vary on Amazon. Uh, this is solidly built. This is pretty much the one to get. Uh, I recommend this. If you're going to um, set up a photography studio, getting a, and you need three of these for um, key fill and maybe one for... Um, to mount a flash up high for a hair light or a shoulder light or something like this. What's nice about this is the, um, the borehole that the umbrella goes into is on an angle, which helps your flash kind of aim at the center of your umbrella a little bit better. Uh, the cheaper one, that go for about 12 or 14 bucks. The borehole is kind of, this is all plastic by the way, this is metal, this is plastic. Um, they are uh, drilled kind of straight through, so your umbrella sits directly perpendicularly, and then your uh, your flash head sits up here, and it kind of sits a little high. Uh, it kind of aims toward the top of the umbrella. I could break out my umbrella and kind of explain this, but and I don't have a flash down here with me, but you get it. Um, so the angle of the borehole that they put into this is uh, helpful to kind of keep your umbrella. Uh, center of your umbrella up toward the center where your flash is firing. Got that? You got that? Do you have it? All right. So uh, $34, Manfrotto always makes pretty good stuff. Um, you can't really go wrong with them as far as prosumer gear. All right, now for $12, although wow, there's one in here for $30. I wouldn't pay that. I'm just looking at it. Um, 27, this is 27, oh wait a minute, maybe they've jacked the prices of these things. Let me just type in uh, umbrella adapter. Well, I see one for 30 that's got a couple of extra pieces to it. There's one for $14, okay, that's more like it. Uh, there's one for $18, there's one for $10. Flash mounting bracket, strobus swivel umbrella mount flash bracket. $10.99, so these have even uh, come down in price. Um, this comes with a, uh, these little guys usually come with them, right? Uh, I'm not sure what I've done with mine. They've scattered to the wind for some reason. Uh, but this flash, the one that's $10 is Strobus one, um, four out of five stars. It comes with a um, top thing with a little cold shoe at the top. And, um, and then a bottom one to thread it into a quarter 20 on top of a tripod if you need to. So it's actually a pretty good deal for $10. Um, so these are cheaper. They're made of plastic, not metal. Um, they also have a clamp that pulls out and turns so you can kind of uh, get that out of your way if that's in a position that you don't like. Um, there's kind of a piece of plastic right here 
that will come off. Um, I think I've had that happen on another one of mine. Yeah. So this little ring of plastic right here has come off on uh, this particular one here. You see that? But that doesn't really affect the uh, operation of this. Um, but these are, you know, these are a little lighter than the Manfrotto. It's probably um, twice as heavy at least. And But I use these a lot for different reasons. Um, if I just need to mount something on the end of one of my light stands, uh, this is really good for that. Uh, so I recommend buying uh, two or three of these. If you're starting up your um, studio on the cheap, 30, for the price of one of these, you can get three of these puppies here. And, um, you know, it'll be good to start with. But you'll really get, treat yourself to, uh, to a Manfrotto and you can really see the, uh, the difference in quality for uh, an umbrella adapter. This next one I just ordered um, recently. All right, this is the ePhoto H6704 triple hot shoe mount flash bracket three-way with umbrella holder for Nikon, Canon, Pentax, Sigma. Um, this is $25 right here. And um, I, the reason why I got this is you can mount, you know, several flashes, get yourself a nice big umbrella, and um, fire off with uh, t two to three speed lights with the intensity of a um, big studio light. Um, I put this on top, and it's a ball head basically, so this screws to your light stand. Uh, this loosens and this can go either completely um, perpendicular like this, or you can just kind of stand it up and position it exactly the way you want. I took this to my parents' house to just shoot a family portrait. Um, I found that with a, um, like a, I put a 60 inch umbrella on this thing and I put two of my speed lights with the, um, uh, with the radio triggers on them and all that was a heck of a lot of weight. I didn't have any sandbags with me and, um, so, um, you know, it's kind of cool. Uh, it, it comes in handy. You might want to mount um, a couple of different video lights or um, a couple of speed lights or maybe a microphone and a light or something like that on top of a, um, a light stand. So for uh, $25 I think this is pretty well made and um, if you're after uh, three cold shoes on top of a light stand uh, then uh, this is a really uh, decent little piece of gear here. Uh, lastly, I'm just going to kind of pull up and talk about my uh, Manfrotto Super Clamp. Uh, these have come down in price, 29 bucks, uh, 12 new and used from 27 dollars. I think these are cheaper. Um, again, it's telling me 29 dollars for my prime price, uh, normally 36.29. So it's probably from 29 to 36 dollars. Uh, the Manfrotto Super Clamp. Uh, this does not pull out and reposition, by the way. Um, but this is just a great little tool for adding a speed light pretty much anywhere on the branch of a tree, uh, on the side of a table. Um, you can, um, right now this is set for clamping onto a flat surface, but you can pull this guy out right there and then you ha can clamp onto a pole uh, easier. So um, that pulls out and it tucks kind of back under here. Uh, this is the knob to loosen this um, quarter inch, which I believe has, nope, it's just got a flat on the other side. So it's flat on one side, but it can't accept it. This can go in uh, the other way. Anyway, this can reverse around. It's got a little uh, pin to, like a safety pin to make sure this doesn't go flying out because you've got loosened it. So that tightens back up. But this little guy that um, makes this into a flat clamp and kind of tuck underneath there like that. So the uh, the Manfrotto Super Clamp. I'm probably going to get one or two more of these at some point. I really dig it. Uh, I like to clamp this on a light pole above me uh, or have an extra um, flash lower on a light stand. Uh, you can mount a light anywhere, a microphone. This is just really a wonderful tool to have. So that will about do it for clamps. Happy shooting out there. Love your comments. Please subscribe to my blog. Um, 
please check out my website at dslrnerd.com. I've got a forum. It's just waiting for you to come and um, bless us with your images uh, that you've shot, your video project that you're working on, or some lighting that you've done, or a question that you have. It's there for the, um, the filling up with, um, with stuff. So um, tell your friends about the website, please. And um, do me a favor, if you're going to buy any of this stuff, please click my link to Amazon. I make a couple of percentage off the um, sales, and it goes to keep this blog going. Thank you all very much, and have a great night.